Tanessa, so I am here in the interview area to talk with Chris Jones from Edward Jones. Chris, good morning. Thank you for having me, Dan. And thank you for being here. So we're talking about something very important for a many little ones. Mm -hmm. College. Mm -hmm. It's important for futures, but it's also important for those pockets. So what are some things that parents <coughs> or guardians can do to kind of prep for that? That's a big bill. Yeah, it comes around sooner than later. I think the, the best thing parents can do and grandparents can do for their children or grandchildren is to start early. Um, mm -hmm. Usually, probably it'd be a good idea right after the birth of a child, <coughs> probably within oh, wow. a year or two, um, to have something get started as a plan. Because when you want to invest for college, you figure you've got 18 years to get ready for it. Yeah. And again, time is money, so the sooner one can get it started with the plan, the more likely they'll have more prepared for the financial burden of what college will cost. And so starting as early as you can, that's a really good tip, but plan. So what, like what, should, what would be a good plan to do to start saving up for a kid's college okay. experience? There's been a, a plan that's been enacted in recent years that it's called a 529 education savings plan. And these plans are designed specifically to put money away for children uh, when they're young and in school, but it, to put money away for what will be used for college down the road. The nice thing about a college 529 education savings plan is that if the money is used for qualified uh, education expenses such as room, board, tuition, then that money when it's taken out of the 529 plan would not be set up for taxes. Mm. Uh, so therefore it's a good way to save money that you wouldn't have to worry about the taxation that goes on with it. So that's just a, a good way for people to get started. That's a really good idea. So are there any um, other plans other than the 529 that parents could maybe look into if they're a little late to the start, if you're supposed to start within the first year? Besides 529 plans, there would also be custodian accounts that parents okay. and grandparents can set up for their children and or grandchildren. Now, those are not the same as a 529 education mm -hmm. plan because when you put money into a custodial account, that money eventually, when it comes out, will be considered to be taxable income. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing parents or grandparents could do is, is to discuss with their tax preparer, uh, get, get some professional tax advice because that way the tax person can kind of help the uh, individual have a plan and know what the tax repercussions will be. But the sooner you can get started, it's also important probably to teach the children and, and, and grandchildren to help pay for their own college by maybe getting a job uh, that they could put <laughs> some money away to help uh, defray some of the costs for college also. Good idea. All very good advice, especially starting early. So we're going to send